There's nothing that I love more than the start of a new month, the perfect time to get your life together, get back on track, and set yourself up for success for the month ahead. So today, I'm gonna show you my little monthly reset routine, how I set goals to actually achieve them, how I stay on track, how I journal and reflect on the previous month as well as manifest for the new month. Basically, just get my whole life in order. I feel like at this point, I've perfected my monthly reset routine, so I wanna share it with you to help you actually achieve your goals, become the best version of yourself. Let's get started. My favorite way to start off a reset routine is by doing some cleaning in my physical space. I feel like when my surroundings are clean, I'm able to think so much more clearly and it just brings me a lot of peace. So I'm starting out by doing some laundry. This is honestly ridiculous. This is from not even a week, but I change my outfit like three times a day unintentionally and it just builds up so quickly. Like this is terrible. from cleaning and just like running around i just had to change and put my hair up but it feels so good to have a fresh clean room i did a spring reset a few days ago so i already did a good amount of cleaning in my room so i didn't necessarily need to clean everything in my room but i did clean like the mirrors i washed surfaces washed my electronics i also have the window open so i'm getting fresh air in here that's one of my favorite things to do on a day when i'm cleaning like opening the window even though it's kind of freezing outside still it's like, so nice to have fresh air in the room and just like exchange the air it feels amazing so the other thing i love to do in terms of a monthly reset besides cleaning is doing decluttering so this can be decluttering on my phone and laptop but also like in my room so i like literally will go through my clothes go through my closet and try to pull out things that i just haven't been wearing or that i'm not really wanting because i do this so often it's not like i'm getting a huge pile of stuff every time but it is great to really think about like i haven't worn this in years you know i'm not probably gonna reach for this again and just sort of simplify Okay, this is the stuff that I've weeded out. Like, when's the last time I wore Yeezys? Probably four years ago. This shirt is see-through, as cute as it is. This sweater is polyester, and it is the worst material ever. It feels terrible on, and I can't do it. This shirt from Amazon, see-through, and too big. This was for wearing to work at Target, but, like, I don't want it, and I don't even like this shade of red. <laughs> These are literally heels, like, from high school dances. Like, I don't really think I'll wear those again. <laughs> this sweater, just not into it anymore. This dress is beautiful. It's from Nasty Gal. It's just too big and i'm always like maybe i'll sew it like maybe i'll take it in because i love the color i love the material i love the style it's too difficult to alter this because it needs to be taken in on the side and the zipper is on the side so like I think that another great opportunity that's presented at the start of a new month is reflecting on your health, wellness, and how you've been feeling, how your body has been feeling, reflecting on your eating choices, and if the food you've been eating has been making you feel good, and if not, what changes you can make to make yourself feel better. This can involve grocery shopping, meal prepping, and also just prepping some healthy snacks to have on hand. I also love to make some green juices in advance to just have in the fridge for me to easily grab and drink in the morning. They make my stomach feel great, and they're loaded with great antioxidants and vitamins.
target list going in my notes that I kind of add things to for a few weeks at a time and then when I make a target run I know exactly what I need to get and I love at the start of the month going and maybe running some of those errands like going to target and getting the things I've been needing also of course going grocery shopping but like there might just be some random things that I'm out of some things I need to restock on and I feel like the end of a month and the start of a new month is the perfect time to do that so I just got dressed and I'm gonna do some quick makeup and then head out to a few stores to kind of the planning and organization i feel like this is arguably the most essential part of a monthly reset because i feel like if you don't get your mind and your goals in order for the month kind of just end up going through it aimlessly feeling like you don't really have your intentions in mind so i like to use notion for this i set up my notion really well at the start of the year to basically make sure that i had it set up for me to be successful for the year like i had every page ready that i might need and one of the pages i set up was a goal tracker page so i make a table for each month this top part was part of my February goals and then this bottom part is like my March goals so I just make a new one for each month and then anything that is kind of like rolled over from the past month like something I didn't finish I'll just drag it down to the table for the next month so I have like the name of the goal and then the status the month isn't fully over yet so I still have time to do some of these things but basically as I'm going through the month I finish a goal I can just go in here I can either do in progress or done I love doing this because it really holds me accountable for all the things I want to get done and it keeps me cognizant of what I want to pay attention to and what I want to really prioritize so usually at the start of each week I will go in and check my little goal tracker and just make sure that I'm on track so in a few days when it is officially April I will drag down anything that I haven't yet finished into the April category but so far what I have in my April goals I know that I want to read both of these two books I honestly read three books this month and my goal was to read two so I might actually be able to read three books next month but another book that I want to read is Becoming Supernatural I'll challenge myself to reading an extra book and see if I can do it a lot of times throughout the month new goals will pop up but some things that are already on my mind that I know I want to do posting eight YouTube videos which is honestly kind of a lot it's two videos a week but that's the goal if you feel lost about what to even write down I think there's kind of few categories of goals like there's financial categories maybe you want to make a certain amount maybe you want to save a certain amount in the month like oh I want to save a thousand dollars this month it could be I want to make a budget this month and then there's also I think like work related goals it could be like applying to a certain number of jobs or anything related to your job or your work or it could also be school like if you're a student dedicating a certain amount of time to studying each week or planning out your schedule more you could also think about health you want to work out this many times a week and then plan out which workout you want to do each day you want to start meal prepping i think it could also be like relationships and friends like maybe you want to host a get together this month or like you want to make more time for hanging out with friends and for social gatherings so like i don't know there's there's quite a few different facets of setting goals and a few things to think about journaling is such an amazing way to prepare yourself for a new month i feel like it really helps facilitate personal growth forces you to look back on maybe the previous month or the previous couple of months and see what has been working in your life and what hasn't and what things you want to change so i think this is an amazing way to just grow as a person and to improve yourself overall <music> take a bath next i love taking a bath as part of my reset day i have this little wellness candle from b lucia the rose quartz one i'm gonna light that because it has essential oils it's good for aromatherapy and i just made a cup of green tea which is perfect my favorite kind of tea then i also use this honest company bubble bath it's lavender and i also added some of these dead sea salt because you can absorb magnesium through your skin so this is a way to do that i'm also going to dry brush before i get in to help promote good circulation in my body and also 
exfoliate my skin and this is the eco tools dry brush before i get in one more thing i want to do is put on some eye patches these are the pixie dreamy eye patches i feel like this is also the perfect time to use these and i'm definitely gonna put on a good relaxing playlist for this as well literally my favorite time like this is so therapeutic if you haven't done this in a while i just so recommend like, taking 30 minutes or something to do a full self-care bath <laughs> So refreshed where every time I take a bath like that I just feel so amazing after but that is it for my little monthly reset routine I really hope you enjoyed the last thing that I'm gonna do later tonight is a little manifestation meditation I think that's my favorite way to like seal in the new month basically just really think about and put intention into all of the things I want to bring and manifest into my life the new month so it's the last thing I would add to this but if you found this video helpful comment this emoji if you watched all the way up till this point and if you did thank you so much I really appreciate you. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.